It would be also as well if on the questions of introducing to you, Mr. Anoiran Bevan. Minister of Health. I think we are exceptionally fortunate in getting the Minister here with us this afternoon. I know that he has had many requests to speak at meetings just recently, but he did kindly consent to come along to this meeting because I know he feels that we, on the London Trades Council and the National Federation of Building Trades Operatives, are out to give him our utmost support in the very difficult task that faces him and his ministry. I now call upon Mr. Anoiran Bevan. <laughs> and comers. The last time that I spoke in this hall was when I was leading an unemployed demonstration. <laughs> it was a most uh, unorthodox affair, frowned upon by large numbers of respectable persons. <laughs> you got you fellows have got Mike mad now these days. <laughs> This is a new one. <laughs> but nevertheless, the task that lies ahead of us is far greater than what we have already accomplished. We want to get those 45,550 families back into their homes as quickly as possible. Because we want to get those 140,000 building workers on clean, straightforward jobs of new building. Now I know, Mr. Chairman, that uh, fiddling about in a war-damaged house is not a very satisfying job for a craftsman. And the sooner we can put dust this behind us, the better. Comparisons are being made at the present time with the uh, housing policy in different parts of the country. Our critics, and there are a good many of them, <coughs> are going to be confounded. At the end of the last war, no houses at all were being built. Yet we have got, as I said, throughout the country as a whole, not only to replace the consequences of a destruction of war, not only to put up the houses that Hitler's bombs blew down, not only have we got to repair the houses that were damaged, not only have we to make up the arrears of six years of lack of housing maintenance, but in addition to that, in addition to what the enemy did to us, we have got to try and make up for the arrears of housing left by 50 years of Tory misrule in Great Britain. At the end of the production line, not the beginning. A house is the last product. Before you can start building on any scale, every single industry in society has got to be organized and stimulated into production. A house, a modern house, is a most complex economic production. Every single industry is a contributor. Not only the simple building materials of bricks and mortar and cement and plasterboards and, and, and slates and tiles and timber, but every single component and all the furnishings of a house make a tribute upon every conceivable industry. And therefore, 
before we can start houses going up in any great numbers, all these industries have got to be manned and organized. And it is to that task that I have been devoting myself during the winter months. It was my purpose, and it is still my purpose, to try and get houses started everywhere so that as the men come home from the forces, some building work shall be going on near their homes. Because we want to try and make it possible for all the building operatives to do their building work and get back to their own homes at a reasonable hour. That purpose can only... You don't know what they're doing, where they're doing it, or how they're doing it. <laughs> how is it going to be possible for the government to plan the production of all the 101 components of a house unless we know what the contractors are doing. And therefore I made up my mind that as this plan had to be implemented through a planable instrument, that the only planable instrument lying ready to hand were the great public authorities. And so I decided to place the principle of responsibility for the main features of the housing program upon the public authorities. And there was a further reason. Now, private enterprise cannot build houses to let because you, got, because you don't make money that way. Private enterprise makes profit out of houses only when it builds houses to sell. And therefore, as the primary consideration was to provide houses to let for poor people or for relatively poor people, <coughs> then the, again, the only instrument able to build houses to let in great numbers are the local authorities. And, there was another. and that competitor is the black market in building repairs. <laughs> now, repairs have to be done, as I said, because there are great arrears to be made up. A license is obtained by a building contractor who enters a house. And then all sorts of things happen from then on. All sorts of things that I could describe if I had time. And, if you, and that you could tell me about. Now, comrades, that isn't good enough. That isn't good enough. There is a sacred obligation upon every building worker to refuse to increase to rise as a stair. Housing prices have got to be brought under control.